You know what this is? This is called scurvy. It's an ancient disease, but unfortunately, it's making a comeback. So the disease has been identified as far back as ancient Egypt, but some people will probably know it because it was this ravaging condition that affected people who went on long shipping expeditions in the 16th, 17th, 18th, even 19th century. And for a long time, people didn't know why, but after a few months on the ship, sailors would start having infections, inflammation, bleeding into their gums, and they would start losing their teeth and they would have bleeding into the skin, particularly around the hair follicles. And in some cases, this would eventually lead to death. Millions of people actually died of scurvy crossing the ocean all those years ago. Turns out it's caused by vitamin C deficiency and they just wouldn't bring fruits and vegetables onto those ships, which is why everyone on board would develop vitamin C deficiency after a few months of being on the voyage. And, and the British figured out eventually that if you gave people lemon juice, you would cure their scurvy. And that's why the Americans who didn't believe this would call the Brits limeys. So basically this disappeared uh, as people in the West at least adopted a rich and complete and balanced diet, we would get enough vitamin C from various fruits and vegetables, not only citrus, but things like tomato, broccoli, cauliflower, potato. What we have though, is this really scary report from Saskatchewan where 27 people in Northern Saskatchewan in the last couple of years were tested and found to have scurvy, found to have low levels of vitamin C. And this is a reflection of food insecurity. It's a reflection of the fact that the cost of living has gone up so much that so many people have been pushed below the poverty line and so many people are having a tough time accessing food and particularly nutritious food. Don't forget that fruits and vegetables are a lot more expensive. It's a lot harder um, on a low budget to have a healthy diet than it is to just get ultra processed foods. And, and so this is probably the tip of the iceberg. We are probably uh, going to see more and more of this. And it's one of these ancient diseases that's coming back because of the conditions that we have right now in our country. And we need a lot of public health education uh, for people to understand the importance of fruits and vegetables, but also we need interventions to make those kinds of foods more affordable, um, or we are going to see these really frightening ancient diseases that we thought were gone forever making a comeback.